So today I'm going to explain uh, predefined uh, functions. We have different types of functions available in SQL. We have numeric functions. ABS, C, O. So I have character functions. to explain one by one. First of all, I will explain numeric functions. So here I am going to use a ABS function. ABS means absolute value. If you put any input as negative, it will convert to positive. Select ABS of minus 1 from here. See, you see the value 1. Select ABS of 100 from here. Select ABS of minus 100 from 0. See, it converts negative value to positive value. If you give positive value, it will get to positive value only. So, you, you can directly apply a dual table or you can also apply on some table also. Suppose if you apply on a table, how many rows are there? Those many rows will come. Select start from. So we want to apply on now salary or e number select e number comma abs of e number from employee those many those will come. so you can apply predefined functions on a existing table data or you can apply with constants also these are the constants if you want to use constants use dual table if you want to use a table you can use it Next, seal. Seal means it gives next highest integer value. Select C A L O 2.5 from here. It will give 3. Next highest integer value. Select C of 2.2 from here. Select C of 2.8. So whatever argument you are passing, next highest integer value it gives in C. So this one you can apply on table data as well. Similar to ABS. There is one more function, floor. Select floor of 2.5. Next lowest integer value it will give. Seal means highest, floor means lowest. 
select lower of 2.2 from here select lower of 2.8 from here next lowest integer value Seal is next highest integer value. Floor is next lowest integer value. So these are different types of numeric functions we use. And then character functions. We have different character functions. Lower to convert upper case to lower case. Select lower of um, from here. So it's converted to lower case. Suppose if you give lower case itself, it will take lower case. Lower of, lower of, lower. See, it's Any questions? <laughs> So you can apply lower function on a table data as well. So start from underscore. Lower case only available. So let's lower up the name. You can use upper function also. Select the name, comma, upper of the name. Upper means convert lower case to upper case. See, it's converted from lower case to upper case. You can apply on multiple columns, not only a single column. Select the name, comma, upper of the name, comma, city, comma, upper of city, from data. So these are your original values. These are the convert values. These are your original values. These are the convert. So using lower and upper functions, you can convert lower case to upper case as well as upper case to lower case. Not only on a table, you can apply on constants also. Select ABC. So there is one more function in init cap. Init cap means in each word, first letter you will take it as uppercase. See here, select init cap of Ravi Kumar. Spelling mistake init. Select init cap. Ravi Kumar first letter in each word becomes that. So if you have three words in each word, first letter is capital, that is in each cap. This one also you can apply a table, not only on a constant. We have a length function also. You can calculate length. Select length of ABC from so you can apply this one from any table also. Select the name and length of the name from That is calculated for each and every row. Now we four characters, zero five, 
ramu first kiran at a time you can apply in multiple columns also length function select e name comma length of e name comma city comma length of city Have held trim, hard trim function. Cell trim is used to remove spaces from left side. Hard trim is used to remove spaces from right side. Very point. See if you view like this. Select held trim of space you got to and then run from here. So then you won't get any spaces. Left side, left side spaces are trimmed. Select hard trim of some spaces are there, the right side of the spaces. Okay. See, left space space is not removed. Why? Because you use it only hard trim, right space, right side spaces only removed. If you want to remove both left side and right side, you can directly use trim function as well. Select trim of Both left and right space spaces are removed. L trim means left side spaces. R trim means right side spaces. If you want to remove both left and right spaces, go for trim function. Not only spaces, you can remove some other characters also, special characters. See here, select L trim of Ravi, comma R. So you know you want to remove R from left side. See E V A you got a okay. Suppose your data is like this. Select how many hours are there? It will remove. It will remove or or or. We are removing R from left side. See or 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 remove. But if it is in exist in the middle, it won't remove. Select so will remove E V A or or E or V A. See, it won't remove. Only left side starting. Then only it will remove. L trim means left side whenever R finds it will remove. Similarly, R trim also reverse. Select R trim off. If you don't specify second argument, by default it removes spaces. Instead of spaces, if you want to remove a character from right side, you can do that as well. Art remove V9, comma Y. From here. See, Y is removed. So this, these functions not only are near constants, you can directly apply on tables also. Select art remove Y V9. Like this, you can remove left side and right side characters are by default spaces also. If you want to remove spaces from left and right, go for trim function. Any questions so far? And then we have help add app pad. If you want to apply padding, then you can go for help add or pad options. See here, select help pad, text the arguments. So trim function is, it removes the spaces, just that's it. Select 
Bible mark. Just it will remove the spaces, nothing else. Left side and uh, right side spaces will remove. That's it. If you want to remove some characters, go for R trim or L trim only. Just if you want to remove spaces from both sides, generally go for trip function. If you want to only remove left side spaces, go for L trim. If you want to remove only right side spaces, go for R trim. Apart from spaces, if you want to remove characters, you can choose L trim or R trim. If you want to remove both spaces, left side, right side, then go for trim function instead of going for L trim R Anything is fine. You can go for L trim R also here. Select trim trim, R trim, AB. Both results are same. Clear? Any questions? Then L pad R pad. Select L pad R. We are giving original string and then five characters. If the length does not exceed or less than five characters, then you are adding zero or star to the left side. Star 1, 2, 3, 4. Why? Because you got only 4 characters. Suppose if you get select L pad of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, comma 5, comma star. Now you can't see any star. Why? Because whatever the length you have given, max length, those many characters came in your input. So it won't append any stars. Select Pad up. Suppose if you give more than six, what happens? You see? If I give like that, so. so it is taking only first five characters. You should be careful. If you are giving more than five characters, it's not throwing any error after. It's taking first five characters. R pad means right side it will apply padding. So this one now you can apply on tables also. So let's start from number. Suppose you want to apply on E number. Five digits. Select E number comma. R pad means right side padding. You can apply any table as well as you can apply on constants. Select the number R pad also. So you can apply left side padding as well as right side padding. So next substr functions. Substr function is used to extract the string within a string. I will show you select city from employee. So I want to extract first three characters. From city, select city comma sub str of city comma one comma three. From first onwards, three characters. From employee. see first three characters we got. Sub str function is used to extract a string from the original string. There are two things. If you don't specify the first argument, I will show you. Select service of city from which position you want to start represents I want to start from third position if I don't spe if I specify only two arguments so this is one syntax 
if you specify starting position and length those many characters will come if you don't specify the length then it will take till the end from third character onwards till the end so in both syntaxes second argument represents position starting position from starting position onwards if you specify the length it will take length from starting position onwards if you don't specify the length then what happens till end of the string it will fetch so not only on table data you can apply on constraints as well select service tier of and then from first position if you want to read one of the four characters if you don't specify the third argument from that position till end so like Character onwards to extend. If the character is a space here, so including space till end. So there is one more function INSTR. The INSTR function returns position of the character in a string. Suppose you want to search a particular string exists or not in a string. Suppose like this select. You want to search for a string or, or you want to search for a string like where it is available from the see fourth position you can see value i or a minister function gives the position of a particular string in another string. You can use combinations also, substr and INSTR. Suppose Ravi Kumar is your full name. You want to split into first name and last name. Ravi and Kumar you want to split. Then what you need to do? Substr of Ravi Kumar. This is the total name. Ravi is the first name. Kumar is the last name. Then what you need to do? Starting position from one. So how many characters I want? Four characters. Ravi. How you are getting four characters when you apply this function? So apply here, same function. I have next year of Ravi Kumar, comma, see, you can use combination of sub STR and NIM STR. So if it is constant, you can apply if sometimes values changes go for this way so not always for each row you won't get four sometimes you will get five sometimes you will get six in such cases sub str and str combination will help you to get the first name last name also similar thing select sub str of Ravi Kumar position of the string from after space onwards whatever the character after space onwards, whatever character. So, I want to search for a space using INSTR. INSTR of Ravi Kumar, comma, space. Space, how much you will get? Fifth character, right? I don't want to space, plus one. Sixth character onwards, I want to get. See, Kumar. So mainly the INSR function gives position of the string within a string. You can apply these combinations on a table data as well. So we will update, update table name. Set
So if you observe Hemla name, it contains full name. I want to split into two parts. Before space is the first name, after space is the last name. In intros also they will ask a question. So we have a full name, how to split into two parts, first name and last name. So here we are going to use combination of any sphere and sub -sphere. Select the name comma sub -sphere of E name comma from first position I am Mr. E name comma I am looking for space minus one comma so Mr. E name comma from beginning of the position after space how I will get after space using I am Mr. I am Mr. E name comma space plus one See, before space you get Ravi, Vinay, Ramu, here and after space you got Kumar, Raz, Alaiti, Raya. So, in this way you can use combination of first name and last name. So, these are the functions you can use. Date functions, add months also there. Select add underscore months of existing data two months you are adding from the year. See it's moved to January. Now this date is November. We are adding two months. Select add underscore months. You can do minus also. See it went back September. Select you can apply on date of birth also. Select DOB comma Add underscore months. Two months I am adding. See, February moved to my April, March moved to May, Jan moved to March, February moved to April. You can do minus also. You can uh, calculate months between your date of birth and sister. So for select months underscore between this date comma date of birth comma date of birth. So these are the differences between versus date and date of birth. Those many months. Give me one minute, I will be back. We have um, conversion functions also to convert from one data type to another data type to can select e number comma to underscore number. It will e number is a numeric. It will convert to just data type. Your values won't change. Two date means it will convert some other data type to two date. And we have analytical functions. Let's start from 
So here I want to give a rank highest salary employee 1, next highest salary employee 2, next highest salary employee 3 like that. Select employee number name salary and then I want to assign rank. So here we use rank function. This is a predefined function. Rank over. This is the syntax you need to remember. So let me know if you are unable to understand. Anyway, I will go slow. If you are unable to understand, let me. So here, rank function. Employee number, name, salary, rank. Rank is a predefined function. This is the syntax. You need to use rank as it is over uh, order by salary descending. So what you are doing here? Employee number, name, salary you are taking and taking rank function. So this is the syntax you need to remember. Rank, open and close parenthesis, over, order by salary descending. Suppose you want to assign rank to the employee who is taking least salary. Yeah, I will explain. So from see one, two, three, four. It is assigned six thousand highest salary employee one, next highest salary employee two, next highest salary employee three, next highest salary employee four. So you need to remember the syntax rank followed by over order by salary descending. If you give order by salary just it will give lowest salary employee one. So there is one more function dense rank. What is the difference between rank and dense rank? See if there is a match in salary. So any question so far on rank? So I will update one employee salary then you can see the difference. Update employee set salary is equal to See here highest salary employee 1, next highest salary employee 2, next if there is a tie it gives same rank and then if another employee with 2000 salary exists it will give rank 5, rank function will skip the rank. So I will insert one more row then you can insert into table name. See here, highest salary employee rank 1, next highest salary employee rank 2, there is a tie here, you can see. So it is assigned same rank, P3, automatically it will skip as and then it is assigned five. Suppose if you have 3 employees, 3, 3, 3, then it will give 6 rank, automatically it will skip 4 and 5. 
any questions i'll try i will show you tense rank you can understand the difference select e number e name salary See here your output if you see the ranks dense rank won't skip the ranks see three three five so here you can see three three four that is the main difference between rank and dense rank syntax is same just instead of rank you need to put dense underscore rank rank skips the ranks whereas dense rank won't skip the ranks see here one two three three and then skip five why because there is a type so here it won't skip so based on your requirement, you need to select either rank or dense rank. These are known as analytical functions. Any questions so far? No. When you ask the add months, right? Select the add and score months. So add months means how many months you want to add to the existing date. I have this date, I want to add two more months. Then, right now it is November, it is converted to January. How many months you want to add or how many months you want to subtract for the given date? Select DOB, comma, add underscore months, DOB. For the existing date of birth, I want to subtract two months. Tenth February, eighty six becomes December eighty five. March eighty seven becomes January eighty seven. See, add months means you can add months to the existing date, or you can subtract also the so number of months from the given date. Any questions? Just adding and subtraction of months, that's it, using add months. Any questions so far? <laughs>